Thank you so much. I, uh, I grew my beard out during all the fun we're having here in 2020. I guess I'm a little uh, sensitive about how I look. I was on the airplane today and the flight attendant came over. She looked right at me, she goes, trash. <laughs> I wish I'd have realized she was collecting garbage before I flew back with Sky Waitress. Because of what we've gone through as a nation, our national debt is $27 trillion. Makes me feel a heck of a lot better about how much I owe. <laughs> the credit card people called me the other day. They go, you are behind on your payment and you are over your limit. I said, I'm real sorry about that, but my government is setting a bad example. For the past 13 years, I've performed my show for a popular cruise line. That's been going really well during the pandemic. <laughs> if things don't turn around soon, I'm going to be one of the funniest greeters Walmart has ever seen. <laughs> it's all about spin. Don't think of me as unemployed. Right now, I consider myself a director at a nonprofit. I would have liked to have seen what Trump could do without the pandemic, without the virus. By now, there would be a wall around Taco Bell. <laughs> You're afraid to laugh at that one, ain't you? <laughs> so uh, I'm pleased to be here on the Huckabee Show. Uh, as you know, Mike is from Arkansas, and uh, I love Arkansas. Nice people there. I was at a hotel in Hot Springs last summer. I killed a cockroach in my room. I took it to the front desk. I showed it to the lady. I said, look at that right there. She gave me my money back for that hotel room. I take cockroaches everywhere I go now. <laughs> I am divorced. My ex-wife was mean. We were getting ready to go out one night. She goes, you look fat in that. I was in the shower. <laughs> she had expectations of me. We were in the kitchen one day, she saw a mouse. She looked at me, she goes, kill it! I go, I can't reach that thing from on top of this chair. She goes, you hunt deer? I go, get the rifle, I'll blow his head off. I ain't getting off this chair. My brother goes hunting all the time. He brags about all the trophies that he's got. He goes, yeah, I got that moose from 400 yards to seven millimeter. I go, yeah, I got that mouse from eight feet with 30 odd six. <laughs> I don't want to hunt deer no more. All my friends hunt deer. They put them on the wall. It's the same thing in everybody's house. I want something different. I want you to walk in and go, what in the world is that? That's my cow. <laughs> got him with a hammer. He looks cool next to the mouse from the joke before, I think. <laughs> so I am a conservative, I have a few guns. Democrats don't seem to like guns. I think it's because the government doesn't give them away free. <laughs> you don't need guns to hunt. I hit a deer with my truck. Knocked the fender off my truck. The deer got up and he ran away. I got out, I walked around, the fender was gone. I think he took it with him. I bet you he's got it hanging on the wall at his house right now. I hate shopping for a new truck. Them people at the dealership are weird. That boy goes, you take that truck today, you won't make no payments till next year. I go, wow, I ain't never bought a truck from y'all before. How'd you know that? Get back, you psychic son of a gun. <laughs> My friend just bought this thing for his truck. It's a Garmin. It was $160. He put it in the window, goes, turn right, turn left, turn right. My ex-wife done that for free. <laughs> I 
That's what GPS stands for, gal in the passenger seat. So I have a motorcycle, it's fast. Everybody's talking about defunding the police. I've gotten so many speeding tickets lately, I feel like I am funding the police. <laughs> the cop pulled me over the other, day, the other day, he goes, you know why I stopped you? I go, uh, the department needs new uniforms. <laughs> he goes, would you mind stepping back to the patrol car to see how fast I clocked you? I go, look at your machine, if you can't read it, how in the world am I supposed to? He goes, what are you, a comedian? I said, son of a gun, you ought to sell trucks. Thank you all so much. Come on over. That was great. Wow, thank you very much. Thank you, this audience loved you. Wow, and yeah. And they should have, you were very, very funny tonight. Thank and you very we, much. We need to laugh a little more. This is 2020, brother. It is 2020. Oh my, so, and it's been tough. <laughs> Thanks for reminding us. <laughs> yeah, just what we all needed. <laughs> you know, but I, I don't think a lot of people understand it. For those of you that make a living in front of audiences and everything is closed, what have you done this year? Not much. <laughs> Actually, I take that back. I've had the best COVID you could possibly imagine. I couldn't take the time to tell you all the things I've done. I visited my brother in Virginia. I went to Sturgis to the motorcycle rally. I went to Yellowstone. I went to Teton. I lived in Breckenridge, Colorado for four weeks at my friend's house. I took my motorcycle and rode it to Maine and back. I've had an amazing time. I wish I had the money to pay for all of this stuff. <laughs> Because that's really the problem that so many people have had. We're laughing about it, but I mean, it's been a tough year for people, especially it's still in the a performing tough year. This business. election yeah. is unbelievable. I swear to you, something smells fishier than the Vatican on Friday. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to tell you, we have loved having you here. We'd love to have you back. And by the way, if you want to keep in touch with this great cowboy comedian, I want you to be sure to check out his dry bar comedy special. Follow him on social media, at John Wesley Austin.